It's another gorgeous day here in Northwest Illinois, and we have just had some massive storms go through the last, oh my goodness, this last week. And I've been very thankful for that. The, all the crops in the field have desperately needed the rain. I know many people have needed the rain, and I'm so thankful. Thank you, Lord, so much for the rain. Our garden has needed the rain, and um, I haven't been great about doing garden updates, and I've been wanting to do that, but just getting out here and getting some stuff done has been um, has been challenging this summer. I'm not gonna lie, it's 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 been hard. But let me show you what we've gotten so far. We are harvesting our first tomatoes. Yay! So exciting. I was just weeding and I took out a handful and I just found these. <laughs> yeah. Two. I don't think this one's that good. Well, pull it anyway because it's definitely red. It's okay. It, Sorry. Our first tomatoes. Yay. Mm -hmm. This is kind of where our garden is at the moment. We've had explosive growth this week. Explosive growth. And I'm, I'm so incredibly thankful for it. This is my tomato forest at the moment. Um, I've been working hard on trying to get the bases of them weeded so that we don't end up with blight. Uh, I can tell on some of my tomato plants that they're some of the leaves at the bottom are starting to turn yellow, so we are desperately working hard to... Ooh, I'm a little out of breath. We're desperately working hard to get uh, some, um, some air flow down here. But you can see, look at how beautiful these tomatoes are. These are my Roma tomatoes, and there's just, there's so many on these plants. These plants are heavy with tomatoes. There's clusters everywhere. So I think this year is going to be a great year. Yeah, you can see down here. A great year for tomatoes. Once these start turning, they're just, they're beautiful. But I've been trying to work on clearing uh, some pathways through here, trying to make sure that there's good airflow at the base so we don't end up with a bunch of blight on those tomatoes. My son picked a few tomatoes already this morning. This one... Uh, it's not looking so good, but this one looks beautiful. Look at this. This is our first tomato. Oh, and we got a cherry tomato too, buddy. Um, yeah. I don't know where that went. Let's see if we can find it. So we're just going to walk around the garden real quick, and I'll let you know what's going on here. My, I planted a bunch of these, and then my son... Oh, there it is. A little cherry tomato. It's going to be so good. Uh, my son helped me out with planting... A bunch of these other ones so they're a little closer together than what I would have placed them but I'm not gonna complain I'm thankful for the help and we will get what we get off of it all right go ahead this is our massive weed pile that we've been working on most of this just came from right here it's just everything has exploded so these are some of the green beans I did not have great success with green beans this year and I still need to plant more but it's just just working with the time that I have right now. A little bit of corn over there. All of this here is pumpkin. Pumpkins, pumpkins everywhere. Pumpkins for days. So we have lots of pumpkins growing. See a couple down there. They're beautiful. They're very big. Very big pumpkins. And I had forgotten that we had some pepper plants. These are banana peppers. So yeah, we've got some some peppers here. There's another little pumpkin that's growing. Yeah, so we've just got pumpkins galore. The last time I grew pumpkins, we had enough for two years. So I did not grow any last summer. Um, but these have just literally taken over my garden. I mean, that's just all pumpkin. <laughs> it's just all pumpkin. So I'm extremely grateful for that. This is supposed to be acorn squash. I got this in really late and I'm not sure if it's going to do much. So we'll have to see what happens with that. We harvested quite a bit of broccoli. You can see there's that plant right there. It has some broccoli on it. We can, uh, it's starting to go to seed, but we're going to have to whack that real quick. Most of this was broccoli. It did okay, but I'm going to try again this fall. And then you certainly can't see any of it. But all throughout here is potatoes. Potatoes, 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 potatoes. So we're going to work on um, probably harvesting those this week. Most of the plants have died back. Um, 
yeah, they're turning yellow. Um, and they were turning yellow before it rained. So it's not, it's not disease or anything, but um, they're starting to die back. So we're gonna get those harvested. Coming around the bottom part of the garden, we've got more broccoli there that can be um, harvested. Somebody gave us this little squash plant. I have absolutely no idea what it was. She said it's just a volunteer that showed up at her house. She doesn't know what it is, so she gave it to us, and I guess we'll see what it is. Cannot tell yet from the leaves. It could be a cucumber, it could be pumpkin, I don't know. I don't know. This is our little watermelon section. We've got two watermelon there. There's one there, and I know that there's one hidden over here somewhere. We've got watermelon there. More pumpkin, more pumpkin, pumpkin everywhere. I want to get this section kind of cleaned out and planted with green beans so that we actually have some this year. And like I said, I'm planning to plant more broccoli this fall. I need to get that started from seed. More pumpkin, just lots of pumpkin. Oh, I wanna show you. I've got a massive pumpkin in here. These are pie pumpkins. So these are actually sweet pumpkins, but um, this one is huge. Look at how big that is. I mean, it's just, it's just big. So that's gonna be a gigantic pumpkin for, for pie stuff. Got some green beans there. There's our corn section. We did not, I mean, most of my, the corn plants that I started died. Oh, is he waking up? Okay. So that's all the corn we got. My kids actually hand pollinated it. So we'll see what we get off of it. But, it feels pretty full so we're looking forward to some sweet corn off of here that'll be good yeah that's about all we've got right now I do have plans for a fall garden and we're gonna need to get that started here soon if we're gonna get anything for fall but yeah that's just kind of an overview of the garden that we have right now